Hey Taurus, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Life. Welcome to your Enchanted Path reading. We're going to get started with an Enchanted Map Oracle. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? Okay, one went flying. Let me see if I can reach it. Okay, beautiful. We have the Field of Dreams, number 21. So I'm going to read these from the book just because they're quick little little blurb about the card if I can count all right so it says this is the perfect time to harness the field of vast potential not yet realized in your life great abundance is yours if you're willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener be clear about your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Concentrate on your best life regardless of the temporary outer conditions imposed upon you by the greater world, which has its own story to tell. You have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful, for your talents are divinely inspired and will indeed lead to a great harvest to be shared with others. You will reap what you have sown, dream big, dream beautiful, take action, and tend to the garden of your life, and experience the extraordinary. I love this for you. This is like the best happy birthday message. It's so nice. All right, let's see what else we have for Taurus along the enchanted path here. The enchanted path is your life, but it's about finding the magic in the everyday and you have all this potential okay so we have oh wow the nine of cups this is wish fulfillment this is celebration in this depiction of it it's celebration of like having all your dreams come true Okay, what else do we have? These cards are huge, so I'm only going to take three of them. Oh, no, we didn't. Nine of sacred circles. This is the nine of pentacles. So this is like being abundant and independent and feeling like you have reached the payoff, the pinnacle. This is so awesome. Um this is the energy that's available to you and one more for the outcome and we have the five of sacred circles so this is the five of pentacles feeling alone but if you look here at this particular depiction it's like someone that's moved off away from the rest and then wonders why they don't have support but here's somebody coming to offer support so it's like i feel like it's almost like saying what's the point if there's nobody to share it with but that's not true because you have these two very independent cards about your fulfillment and that's what i feel like you need to put first so we're going to use the enchanted forest to clarify so what is this Nine of Cups about? Let me just kind of spread these out a little bit so I have room. What is this Nine of Cups about specifically for Taurus? We have, this is Judgment, the Council of Animals. What else? The Keeper of Spells, the King of Wands. And then the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Boons. So what this is telling me is that there's something that is that you've come to realize is your life purpose. I feel like this is a wake-up call to really go after what you're passionate about and to also be patient in the sense that um, you will be investing in something and it's not going to necessarily show fruit right away in this particular depiction i feel like it's saying that you have several options this could be talking about a possible move as well why is this nine of sacred circles here the nine of pentacles and we have the nine of challenges the nine of swords so 
This is about getting in your head and the negative self-talk, the um, like creating fear out of all the possible scenarios of, that could go wrong, if you will. What else do we have? We have, this is the fairy wind, this is the chariot. So you have, you have to have faith and trust in the universe to carry you where you're going to have that victory, that nine of pentacles. There's wisdom involved here with that Nine of Pentacles. If you look at that depiction, it's like a wise elder there. So it, take, it can take a long time. And we have the Two of Challenges, the Two of Swords. So this is about needing to see things clearly and really needing to make a decision. And I feel like with the Chariot, it is a decision too. It's a decision to let go of control. The Nine of Swords is definitely about control stop trying to control everything because you're going to create nothing but heartache um, because you cannot control everything but work within be flexible work within what you can control right so what is this five of sacred circles five of pentacles about we have the seeker of challenges which is the knight of swords you want things to go quickly you you it's like dramatic and just you want things to happen overnight and you have a couple cards here that suggest it takes time you have the starlight this is the star card this is beautiful this is about having faith as well understanding that it's written in the stars and there is a plan a higher purpose for you and could be even um, being in the spotlight and then we also have the queen of swords this is a cold energy though. She's very truthful and focused, but this is cold. This is about getting, I feel like with it coming out on the star and the Knight of Swords with the Five of Pentacles, this is about really getting into your heart space about what you really want and not allowing things on the outside or blaming things on the outside. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> So it's like you have all this potential, you have the energy here to have all your wishes come true, to be abundant to the highest extent, and you're worried about how things could go wrong and who's there for you and who isn't and who did what to you. And this isn't to call you out, but that's just all trivial things. Taurus, you are the master at manifesting the desires of your heart. And you have that Venus energy that brings out that creativity, that beautiful love aspect to what it is that you're doing, even if, even if it takes a long time, even if you have to um, commit, long-term commitment to something that you really desire. You have the stamina to make that happen. All right, we're gonna get some of these Whispering Woods as the closing advice here. I know this was a really quick reading, but it's really beautiful. Sorry you can't see all the cards. I feel, just can't get this to stay quite where I want it to. All right, so what do we have as the guidance, the closing guidance for Taurus? We have Journey. It says branch out to new world. So maybe it's about going somewhere else, changing up your environment. We have risk. Learn to grow wherever you are planted. So I feel like there are risks that can be avoided and there are risks that cannot. But you can flourish either way. What else? Renew. Nature continuously renews itself year after year. So I feel like there's an opportunity for you to renew as well. You know, if you look at those eggs, they can also be considered seeds. So I feel like there's a need to stir things up a little bit. That's the risk. And, you know, renewly commit yourself to pursuing your dreams. And then we have growth. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. Wow, that really came through with that seedling again. 
So those are the messages for your enchanted path. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.